One, go. Hello, my name's Emmy, and today I'm going to show you how to fix a broken wire. This happens to be on my test light. It is broken, and there's only a few simple steps you need to take. First, we need to bear the wire. About 5 eighths of an inch, or roughly 16 millimetres, is plenty. Sorry. Yeah. And then we wind the strands together on both of them, and we can now join them. But before we do, we then, after it's soldered, we need to fix the insulation, which is the yellow part. We can use this heat shrink. As you can see, heat shrink comes in different sizes. For this case, I think I'll need this one. So we cut a bit of the heat shrink. And we put the heat shrink over the wire first because once it's joined, we won't be able to place it over that end or the other end. Now that we've got the heat shrink in place, we place the two wires together and we twist them together. Once you've done that, you need something to hold them together. I like to use a vice. You can use a proper electrical jaws or whatever, but I like to use the vice. Now with our solder, there are two types of solder. There's this type, which has got flux already embedded in the solder, or there is solder without flux, which means you'll need flux. And that is what it looks like. You dip the solder into the flux and then solder it. It is cumbersome. I like to use the pre-flux type. Then we have our soldering iron. The soldering iron is nice and hot, so we don't touch it. Very dangerous. But see it's all tarnished and black. I just like to clean it up and that gets rid of all the old solder. I just use a file, just give it a quick file to get all the black off. Once that's done, I now I have my solder, my soldering iron ready in both hands, the wire is being held. I now place the soldering iron under the wire and the reason for that is that solder always goes towards the heat and what we want to happen is the solder to fill up all the little nooks and crannies in the strands of the wire. So we put it on, place it on the iron under the wire for a little bit, we then melt some solder onto the iron. As you can see, there's a drop of solder there, I'll just put a little bit more, and place that under the wire, and then it's a waiting game. As you can see, the wire is heating up, and the solder on top is now transferring to the bottom, because it's trying to follow the heat source. Just put a little bit more on the bottom. And there it goes. There it is. And as I move the iron, the solder is following the heat. Put a little bit more on the iron. And there we have it. And just to roll it around, just to melt it, to make it sure it's gone through the strands. And there we have it. That wire is now soldered. And it'll be very hot. So as it cools down a little bit. Okay. Now you see we have a perfect join and that join will not come apart because the solder has gone in between all the strands. So now that we've fixed the, the join we then place the uh, heat shrink over the top which can be a little bit tricky sometimes. And there we have it. 
So we place that, you can feel the join is in the middle of the heat shrink. We put it back into our vise. We don't do the vise up hard either, we just just enough to hold the wire. Then we need a heat gun, or what I like to use is a hairdryer. And with that, you make sure the hairdryer is hot, and you just heat up the heat shrink. And what will happen is, the heat will shrink it. And that will form a bond around the old insulation, and it will insulate the wire so that it doesn't cause any shortages, and also help for water to get in, or contaminants. And there you have it. One repaired wire. Thank you for your time today.